Hey everyone, so in this video we'll talk about our next homepage layout. As you know, there are several uh, options available with the homepage, and one of them is just a basic image slideshow, text, banners, and then our flow Instagram widget. And within this homepage, we have uh, starting from this area here all the way to this area here. This is all a Visual Composer shortcode, and then we have our Flow Instagram widget. So, as we've covered this area here within our first video, uh, in this video, we'll talk about just this area where we can link our images to galleries and blog posts or to any page uh, required. Okay, so what you'll need to do is go ahead and copy our Visual Composer shortcode uh, that is available within our documentation and paste this into your home page okay then go ahead click on update and we'll also need to uh, open up our page in the front end editor just like so and at this point we can make adjustments to this area here Okay, so as mentioned, we're not going to cover this area as that was done in our first video. So we'll just talk about this area. Uh, first of all, uh, we have the option of adding a basic image. So once again, click on uh, this little uh, edit icon. And over here, there's an area called top. And that's where we need to add our image. Let me just go ahead and select this image. Click on set set image and save changes okay and you'll see that our image has been added so next off there are several other settings for us to adjust first of all within the general tab uh, we have the option of linking the following image to a specific page so for example if it says galleries here you can link it to your galleries page simply copy paste that link into this section I'll go ahead and get flowthemes.com paste this here Okay, next off, we have an option for adjusting the width of uh, our image overall or this, um, this placeholder. So let's change it to, uh, let's just say 100% just to see what that looks like. And we'll click on Save Changes. Okay, and you'll see that this area has adjusted. If we want to narrow it down to, let's say, 70%, whoops, there we go, 70%, you'll see that um, it's been narrowed down. Okay, so we'll go ahead and change this back to 90%. Next off, we have the option of changing our background color. So let's go ahead and select a random darker color. We'll click on Save Changes, and our background will be changed. And next off, we can also adjust our border width. Uh, currently set to 35 pixels. Uh, you can change this to, let's say, 55 pixels. Save Changes, and there we go our border is uh, slightly thicker all around. If you want to have a thinner border, no problem. Go ahead, 15 pixels, and there we go. Okay, uh, next off, our advanced tab. This is for custom CSS for more advanced users. Uh, within this top section, once again, going back to where we initially uploaded our image, we have the option to adjust our background height. So let's just go ahead and change this to 610 pixels and you'll see that this area has expanded. Okay, uh, next off we have our titles and pre-title section. So pre-title, we just have this number, uh, Roman numeric number one available. Uh, so that can be adjusted um, to whatever you wish. And we also have our pre-title size that can be adjusted. Uh, within our title, same story, you can change this here and change the uh, title size as well and then change the colors as well. Okay, For those of you who want to add a subtitle, you can go ahead and do so. I'll just go ahead and add that and we'll go ahead and select a black color. There we go. We'll click on save, close this off. Okay, So these are the options that we have within this area here. The same options apply for our second uh, image placeholder. Okay. Now, for those of you who, let's say, want to have only a single image instead of two images, you can do that as well, simply by removing the following column, just like so, confirm its removal, and now we have a single column that needs to be center aligned. So, in order for that to happen, we'll need to expand our row settings, open up our layout options, and select our first option, and we'll need to click on update. Okay, next off, we'll close this off, and here we have a single column. 
Uh, you can also adjust this area to align with your text area if that would be required. You'll simply need to uh, open up the image settings and let's just say change this to roughly about 70% I think. We'll click on save changes and yep that looks to be aligned uh, with the following text. Okay, And that's pretty much it. So once again click on save changes, close this off and here we have the following changes. Okay, Once all customizations are done be sure to click on update and we'll then go back to our home page. Refresh this and here we go we have our single image linking to flowthemes.com and as we scroll down we have our title, our subtitle, and then our uh, generic text. Okay, So this is it for the following image placeholders. We hope this helps. Uh, for further information and details also be sure to check out our written documentation and you can find our Visual Composer shortcode there as well. Once again thanks for watching and I'll see you in our next video.